now to repeat everything I just said about this helmet or this helmet. So today, I'm making a video about the Shoei VFXW helmet mount, the chin mount that we've made for uh, a whole bunch of different helmets. Originally, I thought that the Shoei VFX Evo and the Shoei VFXW were the same helmet. Turns out they're not. We have the VFX Evo mount on our website. It's been there for since we started this whole um, chin mounting adventure. And now we've gotten around to making it for the VFXW, which is this mount here. The mounts that we make are custom designed for every individual helmet. You can see that this one here is, is specifically designed for this helmet. Uh, I have this other one here, the Scorpion EXO AT950, which is a completely different mount. Uh, you can see that that's just completely different. So all different mounts for these different helmets. Um, they mount up perfectly to all the angles and grooves and everything. And they stick out far enough to allow you to get the right tip back angle, which is a really nice feature of these mounts. It allows you to basically line up the camera with the top of the eye port, which is basically where you're looking when you are standing up on the bike. So it allows you to get that parallel view of the horizon and gets you um, just the best camera angle possible. A couple other features about these mounts. What we've done is we've changed the screw angle to going from right to left. And that's because with these newer GoPro models, uh, these camera battery side door opens on this side and you can't actually get this thing open with the screw head in the way. So we've swapped that, swapped that to go in the other direction so that way you can change batteries on the fly. So one of the things that we've done is we've created these tick marks uh, that allow you to see um, or get a consistent tilt back angle. Normally what I would do is just look at the uh, I pour it and line it up with that so it's parallel with each other. But if you were, say, sitting down for a long trip and you wanted to tilt this forward, you could do that as well and that would allow you to get that um, that consistent angle. You'd just be able to line it up with the tick marks here and, and that would allow you to see that easily. So some people have asked us how these mounts are connected to the helmet. We use uh, double-sided uh, mounting tape. It's the 3M mounting tape, the same stuff that GoPro uses for their uh, GoPro sticky foot mount things. It's the same stuff as that. It's incredibly strong and sturdy and we actually glue the tape to our mounts. We don't obviously we don't glue it to the helmet. We glue it to the mount and allows it to stick that much better uh, to the mount and it's just an incredibly strong. The tape is basically one time use if you were going to take the mount off of the helmet. Uh, you would need to either buy some tape at like Home Depot or you can buy it on their website, uh, replacement tape. Just know that you'll need to use uh, Gorilla uh, Clear Grip Glue. That's a rubberized glue to glue the uh, mount uh, onto the tape or the tape onto the mount. One of the biggest features about our mounts and something that's actually been a relatively recent development is that we started creating these mounts out of a flexible material. It's very impact resistant and it's absolutely not going to break if you crash or anything like that. We've run this, <laughs> these mounts over with a truck. Uh, we smashed them with a sludge hammer and we also uh, ran, uh, dropped like bricks on them. Uh, and through all of that with the same mount, that turned out completely fine. It was a usable mount, uh, so we're very confident in the structural stability of these mounts. They're going to basically hold up to whatever you put them through, uh, shy of like maybe burning them or something like that. We do offer a full lifetime warranty on them, so if you have a problem, um, hit us up and we'll send you a new one. So some of the questions that we've gotten about these, uh, well, one of them anyways, is, is whether or not they will work uh, with the media mod, and they absolutely do. One of the things to note there is that on the bottom of the media mod, they've created this cutout for the head of the screw. That was a nice thought on their part, except for the fact that you don't actually need it when you flip the screw head around. Uh, the reason is because with the media mod, what they've done is they've put all the electronics on this side here where the screw head would be, and so it sticks out further from the side, which means you can't actually get your fingers on the end of the screw. So with this, it actually allows you to get a finger 
uh, on the end of the screw and it, it just makes it easier that way too. So it's kind of a win-win. Uh, one of the last questions we get about our mounts is whether or not we can mount them upside down and uh, obviously you can. Uh, the thing I wanted to point out about mounting it upside down is that uh, while you can do it, it does put the camera low enough to the point where you might hit yourself in the chest if you look down at all. Our mounts are designed to allow you to run the camera upside, or right side up and I would recommend that you do that. If you have some special use case where you have to run it upside down, maybe you just want to get that lower perspective, uh, you can do that um, easily with our mounts. It, it's not a problem. The last thing I want to touch on real quick is just the reason why we've made helmet chin mounts and why this thing is so important, why mounting it on your chin is important. The reason why you want to mount it as low as possible is so that you get real perspective of the terrain that you're riding over. So mounting it on the top of the helmet gives you that 8 to 12 inches or whatever it is of height that makes you look down on the terrain even more. And when you mount it on the chin, it makes you feel like you're immersed into it, like you're actually experiencing what you were experiencing while you were riding. I think we've all had that experience where you know you you do something gnarly on your dirt bike and then you go and you look at it on the GoPro footage and you're like wow that was like not nearly as impressive and well that's still a little bit of a problem mounting it as low as possible while still keeping it on your head it really allows you to get a much better uh, perspective on the terrain that you're riding over and the other cool thing about Chin mounting is that it's centered with your point of view. So, you know, there again, we've all seen footage of it being mounted to the side of the helmet and it gives you that offset kind of feeling where it just doesn't feel right. Where mounting it uh, on the chin of the helmet gives you that, that centered point of view and it makes you really feel like you're in the driver's seat. A third thing is that it, it's right in front of your mouth. So it's going to pick up the audio from what you're saying a lot better than if it was mounted on top of the helmet. I, I think that if you're doing any kind of motive vlogging or anything like that, that's gonna be important just to get to that that audio reception. Wait, and there was oil leaking out of here. Where? Here, well, wasn't there? When you when you punched yeah, it? Yeah, I punched it here. And that and was- did it again. Just now, huh? Yeah. The last thing is that it's more protected than I think anywhere else on, on the helmet. If you mount it on the top of your helmet or the side of your helmet, it's likely to get knocked off by a bush or a branch or anything like that. At, at, at best, it would just tilt the camera back so that we couldn't see uh, what, you're, what you're aiming at or, or the train that you're riding over. You're just recording the sky at that point. Or it could just get knocked off completely. Worst case scenario, and you lose your GoPro. Whereas where it's being mounted right in front of your mouth, well, one where you can see it. And, you know, if you were to crash or go over the bars or something like that, you're likely going to turn your head rather than go face first into the dirt. And that also helps to protect your GoPro a little bit. So there's a lot of advantages to mounting it on the chin um, that I think are, are just, um, just better than anywhere else you can mount it on your helmet. So the last thing I want to talk about is what you're going to get when you buy one of our mounts. Uh, we're going to get a box. Uh, that's going to include the mount itself. And you can see these are the old mounts, the old plastic mounts that we used to make that are hard plastic compared to these rubberized mounts, which are much, much better. So you're gonna get the mount. You're gonna get a couple of cool stickers. You're gonna get an alcohol cleaning pad and you're gonna get a screw. So when it comes to mounting, these rubberized mounts are a little bit easier to mount because they allow you to pull back on the mounting wings. Uh, but what I tell people, when you go to mount one of our, our mounts, what you're going to want to do is clean the helmet with the alcohol cleaning pad in the area where you want it to mount up to. Take the mount first before you peel off these plat, uh, paper backings. Put it up to the helmet and just make sure that you understand where the mount is supposed to go because these are specifically designed to fit on the helmet in only one way. And if you mount it wrong, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of the full surface area, the full mounting area. So once you understand that, not just where it's supposed to go, but kind of how deep it's supposed to go because you don't wanna mount it too far under the helmet or too far off the helmet, like you want it to sit in the right spot, which should be relatively easy to tell. Uh, just hold it up to the helmet until you've figure out where uh, it mounts up best. And pull off these paper backings, pull back on the wings uh, of the, the mount, and then bring it in and just set it in there uh, where it's supposed to go. Press down on the wings and um, just like hold them in, make sure that they're well connected. And then you're pretty much good to go after that. The last thing I wanna mention before I let you go is that we also sell these 90 degree adapters. These are sold separately, they're not included with the mount. Uh, but what that allows you to do is uh, mount 
the GoPro in a 90 degree so that way you're shooting in native uh, format for phones. So if you're shooting for Instagram or for TikTok or for YouTube Shorts, you're gonna wanna shoot uh, in this 90 degree because it, it, it turns the, the aspect ratio and makes it native to the phone, um, which is allows you to get the take advantage of the full number of pixels. Check out the links in the description below. Uh, they're going to have links to this mount specifically, um, and you can find all of our other mounts on our website if you have more than one helmet. Check out um, our t-shirts that we also sell. We started a podcast as part of all this where we interview top racers in the sport like Graham Jarvis, Cody Webb, Destry Abbott, Cooper Abbott, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And Max Kirsten we just interviewed. Um, we've got a bunch of cool new people lined up. As part of that, um, we created these cool t-shirts. And so if you want to get one of those too, support the podcast, you should do that as well. Thank you for watching this very, very, very long helmet video. I think I've sold you everything in our store at this point. And go buy them out. Thanks.